Okay. So this is my BC Rich masterpiece. It's kind of it's supposed to be like uh, what do you call it? Uh, they, okay, so they call it throwback. You know, the, the original headstock kind of had this little bump here back in the 70s when this is released. This is low. I want it. It's low because I want you to see the guitar. I don't want you to see my big fat face and then it, just the neck. I want you to see these guitars. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I finally got one. And I noticed that because I studied this guitar. I had it on my notebook. And there was this, it was standing, you know, and the girl was holding it, and I knew this whole headstock could go, this is very close. And I, But the Grover tuners weren't on it. It just had some frigging crap-ass tuners. These are very specific to the picture in 1977 or whenever that I'd get, tear it out of the... Uh, guitar magazine and put it on my notebook for school or as a chick holding a BC rich bitch and I'm like one of these days I'm gonna have one of those well of course 80s come along and these are gone they're barely making them I can't find them anywhere but uh, and if I did they were ugly they were NJ series they played like crap and they look stupid so I'm like, whatever. Or there are the costly ones with the ten strings that are just too stupid again. Made for rhythm guitar players like Joe Perry. So, uh, I finally, you know, I don't know, sometime in the past ten years, came across this Dragon Blood Red uh, BC Rich Bitch that uh, looks old. I had these ordered so when it came the guitar came, these were with it. Had them put on by my tech and I played it and it, it was horrifying. It sounded like mud. So I said, I'm going to put a Seymour Duncan JB in there. So that's what's sitting right in here. A Seymour Duncan JB. It does not say Seymour Duncan. That says Seymour Duncan. Or, let me see. Yeah, it says Seymour Duncan. I Nah. Because I was just thinking, I wonder if he put the flipping JB here instead of here. Because it still doesn't sound right to me. Yeah, whatever. That's got to be the JB, because I ordered one without any print on it. I don't know why. So, that, and then I went ahead and got, they had a weird, I changed out the knobs. These have little red, uh, you know, pearl or little uh, red gems in there. And I thought that looked cool, so got it. Put it together, and I play it, and it goes right out of tune. It sucks. You bend the string. It's it's done. And I put on new strings. Same thing. It's just one of those guitars. Um, I think it's the nut. Even though we, he, he's played with it. He hasn't switched it out, but he's messed with the nut. He goes, that's not it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I want. But so basically, this is just a beautiful guitar that I pull out every once in a while and look at, and then. Uh, play it and put it back in look at this thing isn't this a beautiful guitar it's so bitchin looking better I tuned it up let's just play something simple and uh, there you go you'll get an idea
but it is a beautiful guitar. Okay? Okay. Now let's get to a uh, guitar that can play. <laughs> 